Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to be tackling concentration. Now we're actually going to be breaking concentration down into parts because there's a lot of things when it comes with respect to concentration. So in this video it's really going to be an introduction. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to define the key terminology. So what does solute mean? What does solvent mean? What does solution mean? And then the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to discuss the base equation because all concentration equations, whether you're doing grams per liter, percent or ppm, they all derive from the same equation. So we're going to talk about that as well. So let's get started. So our key terminology, the first thing is our solution. So our solution is actually made up of two things, your solute and your solvent. So your solute, so this one right here, oh, excuse me, wrong button, your solute, that's what is being dissolved. So when you're actually making a solution, there's usually li your liquid form, and your liquid form is your solvent, so the liquid. And your solute is what you're dissolving into your liquid. So this can either be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Now, in most of our um, work, that we'll be doing with concentration. 95% of the time, our solute is a solid. It doesn't really matter what phase it is, but it's still the basic thing that the solute is normally what you have less of in your solution. Now the solvent, that is the thing that is doing the dissolving. Now again, most of our concentration equations are aqueous base. So when we're talking about an aqueous base solution, it means that it is mostly water. So whenever you see a Q in small brackets, that means aqueous. And again, aqueous comes from water. And in the, your in your solvent, so in your solution scenario, your solvent is what you have more of in your solution. So your concentration is really your ratio between your solute and your solution. So all concentration questions can be narrowed down to concentration, hold on, sorry, concentration is equal to your solute divided by your total solution. So when I say ratio, it's really a ratio of your part, so your solute to whole, which is your solution before your concentration is your solute over your solution and most of your time your solute is going to be measured in um, mass of solute and your solution is usually going to be measured in volume of solution. Now this the difficult thing about concentration is that there's so many different ways you can describe your concentration. You can either describe it in something called grams per liter, where your solute is measured in grams and your solution is measured in liters. You could uh, describe it as a percentage. So it's you're still you're talking about grams of solute over a volume of solution, but in this case, we're talking about grams of solute over 100 milliliters because again percentage translates to as a fraction over 100. And then the last way that you can do it is something called ppm which literally is your gram of solute over a million grams of solution. But we'll be spending videos discussing each of these concepts. So I hope this helped and then in the next videos we're going to be going into more detail about grams per liter with uh, practice questions, percentage with practice questions, and PPM with practice questions.